If you ever need to access the web when you're working or brainstorming on a project in Obsidian, here's how you can do it. So with the Falcon Azure 2000 plugin, you have access to this chat here. And what we recently added to this chat is the ability to search the web. All I need to do is to activate the web search function down here. And once that's done, I can ask a question like this one. So my question is what has Trump done since he re-entered office? And since that's very recent information, it needs to access the web and it can do it really fast, summarize all its findings into a really concise summary so that I don't need to spend all my time navigating through all those articles. So here, for example, I can see, um, yeah, the um, immigration crackdown. Yeah, he reversed all of Biden's policies, basically. Withdrawal from Paris Climate Accord and everything, the most important points that he has done says, since he has entered office. And if I want more context, I can, of course, click on those um, articles. So here I have article January 22, for example, 2025. So it's really, really recent information, which you often need when you research a certain topic. So this can be really, really useful to work faster and keep your focus inside of your vault, inside of your document. Afterwards, you can like easily copy paste the information that you want inside your vault and further expand them all within Obsidian. What I actually see here is, for example, um, I think it's not detailed enough. So I could also ask, um, go deeper into details. And here is much more detailed. So that's what it is um, to give you an idea of what you can do with it. I really think it has the potential to make it work faster and more efficiently but let me know how it fits in your workflow.